Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. So today we have another new Racer Star Motor and it's the 2207S class. It's a 2207 but they added that S. So this is the 2200 kV. It comes in the 1600 kV and a 2500 kV. We've already done the 2500. This is the 2200 kV. So let's just take a look inside and see what we get. So all you do is just get a plastic bag with everything you're gonna need here. So you just get a couple screws uh, for I think three millimeter and four millimeter arms. And again, we have short motor wires. The motor wires are around eight, I think, centimeters. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. No, they're 70 millimeters, which is seven centimeters. So they're pretty short and which is one of the most annoying things on a Racer Star motor. Another thing that I noticed from all the testing, these do tend to wear out very quickly. This white thing will pop off and then thus leaving the nut useless. That's just something to take note of from the beginning right now. Other than that, it's cheap and it performs very well. So let's just check if this, the 2500 uh, KV versions that I received had zero amount of play. And uh, this one doesn't seem like it does either. I remember I checked it on the bench. Yeah, it's very good. Yeah, yeah, they don't have play. Most of them right now, they're, they're, they're stepping up their game quite a bit, actually. And as you can tell here, they went with the uh, Racer Star 2306S Fire Edition design. That red metallic-ish kind of color. Um, so that's pretty good to see. And uh, let's just check the air gaps here. Uh, they're pretty good. I mean, like I always mention, these are one of the cheapest motors, yet the best performing motors for the price you could probably get. So it's very nice. So you can tell they're using a C-clip down here. So it's going to be a pain in the ass to clean it. But again, it's cheap. So don't expect much. It costs less than a VTX, uh, what is it, antenna here. So this is pretty insane. I don't think I tested this one on a 5S, but I tested the 1600 KV on 4, 5, and 6S. So yeah, take that. that's what I did with that one. This one, I think just a 4S, a bunch of props here. So overall, I mean, it looks pretty nice. Build quality seems good. Uh, bearing sounds good, but this is just bench testing. So let's go ahead and get its weight. The previous one was around 36 grams, uh, which was the 2500 kV. This is the 2200 kV. So this one's slightly heavier actually, by one gram. So this one's slightly heavier. The 2200 kV is slightly heavier than the 2500 kV by one gram for some reason. And um, yeah, that's that's really it. That's all I could really say now. So uh, enough talking and let's just get testing. All right, guys, so the results are in here, and this is for the Racer Star 2207S 2200 KV. Now, as you can tell here, this is each prop. This is the King Kong 5045 Tri Blades. I use this because a lot of beginners use it, and I even still use it to this day to make sure the quad is working so I don't waste any of my Dow 5046 Tri Blades. So, I've also used the Dow 5046, the Gym Fan 5152, and the King Kong 6 inch just for the fun of it. So let's start with the King Kong 5045 tri blades. As you can tell here, we got 826 grams of thrust, and uh, our torque was 9.9 .9 grams of uh, gram force of of, of um, gram forces of torque here. So it's pretty good. I mean, it's pretty. It, we st I still need more data to tell you how good this is. Anyways, uh, so it was around 826 grams. So that's that's not bad at all. That's pretty good for a 2200 kV. So this is kind of supposed to be meant with something a little bit above a five inch, and we'll we'll get into that down there right below. Uh, voltage, I got a voltage drop to 15.9 as it was pulling, and it was getting 826 grams of thrust at 27 amps, which is pretty pretty good actually. It's pretty efficient. Uh, around 75% throttle. We were getting around 535 grams of thrust at 14 amps. So overall, it's pretty efficient. You got your RPM. I left electrical power, mechanical power, motor efficiency, and all those because some people requested for me to keep those. So I just kept those for them. They'll know what to do with them. Uh, and we'll be later on graphing every single motor. Hopefully, I'm going to have someone help me or assist me and uh, just give him all the data and he just graphs it for me because I have no time to do it, to be honest. I'm not going to keep saying I can't. I really can't. I have a lot of things to finish. All right, so Dow 5046 uh, tri blades here. Uh, let's see the difference between uh, the King Kongs and the Dow here. So we got 11 grams of uh, force of torque here, and uh, the well, there's a significant difference in um, the thrust. Uh, here it's 893 grams of thrust with the Dow, 826 grams. So that's around what is that like 60, or even more than 60 actually. 
uh, no, 60, around 60 grams more thrust. And let's just check the amperage here. The amperage was 30 amps. It pulled three more amps than the King Kong prop here. And uh, the RPM we were reaching, we, we, we got a less RPM here at 29,805, 29,805 RPMs per minute. Electrical power efficiency, 73% motor efficiency, and the overall efficiency. All right, so that's good. Now let's go to the Gemfan 5152. And this is a 5.1 inch prop, if, if you guys don't know that. So it's a little bit bigger than the 5 inch props up here. So let's see if it makes a difference at all or if it's just we reduce efficiency here. Because it seems like we're actually reducing efficiency. Because one thing, we're getting less thrust than the 5046 up here. And this is a 5152. It even has a higher pitch. So we're losing less thrust uh, with the 5152. Uh, we, we're generating more torque. And uh, we are at 32 amps. So this is really inefficient. Like a Gemfan 5152 with this motor, is uh, you're losing efficiency here, as you can tell. So that's not very nice to see. It's not much, but I mean... You know, you lose, what is that? Well, no, actually, it's pretty much around 20 grams of thrust uh, you're losing. And you're also losing uh, two more extra amps. So th that's just not good. So 30 amps here is giving you more thrust than the 32 amps with this prop. So that's overall not good. And again, I left these for the people that have specific ideas to do with these. Now, the King Kong 6-inch prop. This one was pretty interesting, actually, because check this out. Uh, on a 6-inch, this performed very well, and the motor didn't even get hot. It sounded pretty smooth. I really like that. Uh, but if we take a look here, the torque was generating about 13 grams of torque. Uh, here we have, it generated 1,117 grams of thrust, which is 1, ki one, one kilogram, 1.1 1 .1 kilograms of thrust here at 33 amps. That's very good. Very good. So look at this, the dowel right here, the 5046, 30 amps. We generated almost 900 here. We got a 200 extra uh, uh, grams of thrust for just three amps, which is awesome. Where here, we had the two extra uh, amps and we lost around 100 grams of thrust with the 5152. So it's not really, uh, the 5152 is not for this motor. I can tell you that right now. It's just not really efficient at all. So, and um, yeah, you're going to have a great time with the King Kong. So it's, it's, these two are pretty good here, uh, especially the six inch performed very well. This was all done on a 4S and uh, overall, this motor seems pretty good. I mean, there's nothing bad I could say about it until I test it. And uh, in theory, it should perform pretty well. I mean, very well, actually. I can't wait. I, I'm excited to actually stick it on. Maybe, maybe we'll put it on a six inch. I don't know. Uh, but yeah, maybe actually six inch. So we could test six inch props as well as the Dow and the King Kong here. I don't know when, but we will eventually because I really want to test those out. Maybe a budget bill will be pretty crazy. So overall, this motor looks pretty good. It's nothing bad. It's very cheap. It's a budget motor. The build quality is noticeably a lot better than before, which is very good to see and which is um, very nice to see. But this is all bench testing in the real world. Once we start crashing, then we'll start seeing all these other things. And just keep in mind, don't forget if this, this motor is cheaper than a VTX antenna if you break or, or a camera. So that's why they're very nice to do. So especially if you're building a new quad, don't just buy four. I recommend buy five or six so you don't have to wait a trillion years uh, to receive uh, another one, another spare. And uh, overall, yeah, here's the results. I'll leave them linked down below. You can go ahead and check them out, play with them, do what you want, build your own graph. And uh, later on, I'm going to be asking people, someone to help me. And obviously, in return, I'll give you something for all the help that you do uh, to graph these out for me because I just I still have to finish the Android application, iOS application connection so I could uh, start those sales again. And um, yeah, go ahead and check out the Android app down below and the website. Everything's running. And if you'd like to support the channel, you can go ahead and purchase a drone mesh split sane. It's my own custom design. It's pretty sick. We're going to be doing build video. It flies insanely beautiful. And uh, you can also you you can also support the channel through Patreon. I do a lot of giveaways there. Um, this month I'm doing actually some pretty good ones, but just stay tuned and I'll tell you what I'll be giving away. And well, that's it, guys. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. And I will see you next time. See you guys. Take care.